Welcome! My name is Peter and today I'll talk about the SpaceX test flight of Starship. Before its explosion, at least eight novel techniques were demonstrated successfully. Let's have a closer look. Starship is the rocket that will make human settlements on Mars possible, according to Elon Musk. For that, it must be bigger than current rockets and fully reusable. And for that, it needs to perform a different type of braking and stronger braking when it returns from space through the atmosphere to land safely on Earth. On December 9, SpaceX tested many required techniques for this braking maneuver and for the landing. I will explain eight novel techniques using the SpaceX livestream and then we will have a brief look into why the rocket exploded in the end. First, the Starship used three Raptor engines at the same time. Before that, only a single Raptor engine was ever used on a prototype during flight. Raptor engines run on liquid methane and on liquid oxygen. Second, this Starship was heavier than all prototypes that flew before. It had more fuel and oxidizer in the tanks. And it also contained small movable wings or flaps that were actuated using Tesla motors and a Tesla car battery pack. Third, the rocket switched off an engine twice during the flight and nevertheless continued flying into the right direction without problems. This is a challenging control task, as you can see in the movie, where the engine moves a lot during shutdown. Fourth, the engines were restarted during the flight. This has never been done before with Raptor engines. Fifth, the prototype reached an altitude of 12.5 kilometers or roughly 41,000 feet. Prior prototypes only reached a few hundred meters of altitude. Six, the rocket was gliding down in a horizontal orientation, controlled by the flaps. Usually rockets do not have flaps. The only system that can be compared with this system are the space shuttles, and the space shuttles don't fly anymore. Seventh, during the gliding, two of the rocket engines were reignited to fly the so-called belly flop maneuver. This maneuver brings the rocket from the horizontal orientation back into the vertical orientation for the landing. During the belly flop, the rocket rotates very fast, therefore the liquids in the tanks slosh around and it's not possible to reliably fuel the engines from these tanks. Therefore, Starship has two special small spherical tanks, one for methane, one for liquid oxygen, to fuel the tanks, especially during this maneuver. Finally, the rocket was steered exactly into the middle of the landing zone, although the belly flop was never done before with this rocket. For all these accomplishments, we can only congratulate the SpaceX team. The vision to reach Mars with this rocket has become much more graspable. But hold on, wasn't there an explosion? After the rocket was vertical in the landing zone, the pressure in the methane tank became too low. Therefore, there was too much oxygen in the engine and the oxygen burned the engine instead of methane. And therefore, there was a green flame because part of the engine is made from copper and if you burn copper, it gives a green flame. Therefore, there was not enough thrust available for a safe landing and the prototype crashed into the ground and exploded. But that is okay, nobody was hurt. And actually, nobody expected the prototype to stand in one piece in the center of the landing zone after the first flight. And what can you do with such a prototype after the first flight? It can only go into a museum, because the next prototypes for the next flights are already built. Therefore, this was probably the most successful crash landing of SpaceX. Congratulations! If you have questions about this topic, let me know on YouTube, Discord, Twitter or Facebook. I like if you subscribe to this channel and maybe you like the video that YouTube is currently suggesting to you. And with that, I wish you a healthy and interesting week. Thank you for watching and see you soon.